Who's this uh, person? What is his name? Well, his name is going to be like the name of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam is either Muhammad or Ahmed. And his father's name will be like the father of the Prophet, peace be upon him, Abdullah. And he is from the offspring of Fatima, the daughter of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. In fact, from the offspring of Al-Hasan ibn Ali radiallahu ta'ala an. So actually he is going to be Muhammad ibn Abdullah, Alawi from the family of Ali, Fatimi from the family uh, of Fatima, Al-Hasani from the family of Al-Hasan ibn Ali. May Allah be pleased with them all. So, and this ruler who will be coming, the Mahdi, the awaited, guided person who is a human being who will be coming and ruling. Now he's a normal human being. There's nothing unusual about his coming. He will be born naturally. He will grow with his family. And his name will be Muhammad ibn Abdullah or Ahmed ibn Abdullah. And he is from that ancestry of the family of the Prophet, peace be upon him. And there's some description as we were given by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam that his forehead will be so clear with no hair in it. And his nose will be so big with a little curve in the middle. As we found in the ahadith, إِنَّهُ أَجْلَ الْجَبْهَ أَقْنَى الْأَنْفِ That is how he was described, as I said earlier. Now, his coming will be from the east. And now, when normally the east is mentioned in the ahadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, is meant to be Iraq, or the area east to that, maybe Persia, or anything beyond but mostly in the land of Iraq. And of course, the Prophet ﷺ asked us that if you see him, then give him your uh, pledge of allegiance. And even if you are crawling upon ice, because he is the Mahdi, he is the guided one, and indeed, he is going to be the awaited for and his coming is actually an indication of the start of the nearness of the hour. And he will be supported by people from the East. They will support him and they will establish his dominance and his kingdom. And they will so much have black flags that when they actually march, they'll be so much in power and with prominence because the flag of the Prophet, peace be upon him, as he was going into his own fighting of the non-believers, he used the black bag. And even the flag will be named Al-Uqab. This is the name. And then, of course, the Pledge of Allegiance will take place around the Kaaba for Al-Mahdi, may Allah be pleased with him, as the Ahadith indicated.